Hello, everyone. Uh, I was recently asked by one of the uh, one of my uh, YouTube viewers uh, by the name of Patty Mueller. Basically, the question was: I have the same IMAX uh, B6 as I have, but it won't allow me to discharge the uh, lipos below three volts default. Well, uh, basically, what I need to tell you there is that. Uh, lipos or lithium polymer uh, batteries should not be discharged below three volts so the charger is actually doing you a favor by not allowing you to uh, discharge it below uh, 3.0 volts now if you're not dealing with a uh, lipo battery if you're li li dealing with a lithium ion battery then yes you you can uh, discharge it to 2.5 volts and if it's a lithium uh, iron sorry yes a lithium iron phosphate battery or a life uh, pole battery then yes it can even go be, uh, lower than that to 2.0 volts but you should be discharging your battery to the manufacturer's uh, recommended level uh, and not beyond because if you go beyond the discharge level that the manufacturer states you'll damage the cell and then that's it uh, it won't work as well you're shorten the life of the battery so um I'm going to go through the programs, uh, the program selections, and uh, show you what the discharge levels are for each one. And I will also show you how to g do a custom discharge level for any volt that you wish down to 0.1 volts. Uh, and anyway, the, the range of the uh, custom level can be anywhere from uh, 25 volts down to point, uh, 0.1 volts. So let's start with the actual, uh, you know, set or programs for the three different types of batteries that the, the uh, uh, actual IMAX B6 does. So let's go here through using the battery type button here till I get to the program, the user set program. So we go into this by hitting the start button. And here you see that it's set to the lithium uh, iron phosphate life uh, battery at uh, three point sorry 3.3 volts so uh, basically if you're using a life battery this is the correct setting but the problem here is that if you're using this setting it will discharge your battery down to 2.0 uh, volts now if your battery is not a life set uh, a life battery then you'll be discharging it too far or maybe not far enough depending so uh, let's just use this setting here and let's go look at what the discharge setting will be for this so all right, here we're gonna go back and let's go back to the life battery right there. And then we're gonna hit the program button. And you see that we have charge, we have discharge, and the storage, fast charge, and balance. Of course, we're interested in the discharge uh, level. And you can see here that you set to 2.0 volts um, and you can change the amperage right down to 0.1 amps and up to, I don't know what limit, but you can increase the, the amperage level to whatever the manufacturer says is, is uh, you know, uh, superior for the battery. But when you set it and you go to the next setting, you see that here, the voltage does not blink, but the one S, so the single cell or, you know, uh, the double is the only thing you can change. So here, if you hit start, sorry, let's go back here. You can change it to four volts, you know, for three cells, four cells, whatever. But it will not let you go below 2.0 volts on this uh, setting or this battery uh, program. So, again, you can see how the, the charger won't let you go below the recommended level because it will damage the battery. So, let's get out of here and uh, let's go back to the uh, user set program. Hit enter and... Let's change this, we want to change from life to LiPo, which is the next voltage up. So here we're going to go here, and there we go. That changes it to 3.6 volts and the lithium ion uh, setting. Enter it. Let's go back to the, there we go, lithium ion battery program. And of course, we've got the charge program. We've got the balance program. We've got the fast charge program and we have the storage program and last but not least the discharge so here you can set again the amperage to whatever you desire 
or whatever the manufacturer states is optimal. And then we go to the next one and you can change the voltage again, just like the last program from 2.5 for one, for one cell, five volts for two cells and so on. But you cannot go below 2.5, right? By design so that you can't damage the actual battery that you're using. Lithium ion batteries should not be discharged below 2.5 volts. And a lot of people don't even go that low when they're discharging them uh, because they don't want to go to the bottom peg. So, um, and I'll show you how to change the discharge voltage to whatever you'd like to set it to, uh, you know, after I show you these modes. So let's go back to use your set program. And we're going to go to the, uh, oops, we're going to go to the setting. So you hit the start button to change the voltage here. And we're going to change it to the LiPo or lithium polymer setting, which is 3.7 volts. The start button, go back and we'll go back to the uh, program select LiPo bat. So it's lithium polymer. Again, same charging modes to get charge, balance fast charge storage and discharge uh, you can get the discharge real quick from the start just by going back one like that okay so again you get the option to change the amperage um, you get the option to change the number of cells but you don't get the option to change the voltage because 3.0 volts is the minimum voltage discharge level for a lipo battery all right so again I can't stress enough that you, you need to know the parameters of the batteries you're, you're charging and discharging so you, uh, you don't push them too far and damage them. So the last thing I was going to show you is how to set a custom level of discharge. So let's go back. And here you'll see that not only do we have a LiPo setting, we have other battery settings. So I'm just going to go back, back again. And then you get to the NICD battery, which is a NICAD battery. And here's how you, you can set a custom uh, discharge level and a custom charge level as you wish as well. Again, I don't recommend doing anything outside of the parameters for the specified battery you're using. So, you know, again, there we go. We hit the uh, actual um, NICAD program and we get into the uh, uh, charge manual or uh, setting you can change the amperage to whatever you'd like to change it to I'm leaving it at 0.5 amps like I said check your battery manufacturer and the specs to set this these uh, levels and you know there's how you, you set it but uh, I'm gonna move on and you go to the in increase button here and you see that uh, we have a discharge program set to 0.5 amps and it's set to 2. 8 volts right now. So say you have a, 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 a lithium ion battery that you don't want to discharge all the way to 2.5 volts. You can use a NICAD program to do this. Now all this NICAD discharge means is that this, this is basically a label for this pr discharge program. And it's a discharge program like any other discharge program. The only difference is that it's labeled for NICAD so that you know what parameters and it allows you to change the parameters to what's allowable for a NICAD battery. But if you know what your parameters are for the battery you're dealing with, you can use this discharge program to set it to whatever you like. So let's just do that. There's your amperage setting, set it to what you would like. There's your voltage setting. And the beauty on this is that you can go all the way down to 0.1 volts, which will destroy a lithium ion, a lithium iron, or a lithium uh, polymer battery. So don't set it to this and discharge it because you will wreck the battery. So just showing you what's available here. And say you have a lithium ion battery and you don't want to go below 2.8 uh, volts. You can set this to do it here to 2.8 volts and it will discharge it to that level and tell you what's going on at that point. So uh, what's the max it can do? Well, it can go way up to 25 volts actually. So as you can see here, it's climbing, climbing, climbing. So if you have a large battery, you want to discharge to a certain level, this thing will allow you to discharge any battery down to whatever level, at, at whatever amperage level that it allows, uh, to 25 volts, a maximum and a minimum of 0.1 volts, uh, you know, uh, in the discharge level. So that's how you set your discharge levels on the batteries you're using, uh, using an IMAX B6, uh, LiPo, LiPro balance charger. 
Again, I can't stress this carefully enough. Make sure you follow the specified discharge and charge levels for whatever battery you're using. And uh, you can find those at the manufacturer's web pages uh, to be certain. Uh, if you're not certain, I, I would use the pre-programmed modes in the actual charger, like the Life, LiPo, NICAD, so on, to the correct levels for you know the standard battery you're using. So that's my uh, video on how to set the discharge modes and actually how to set the voltages uh, to custom levels as well on the IMAX B6 LiPo Balance Charger. That's it for my video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like this video and it helped you out in some way, do me a favor, click on the like button right down here. And uh, you know, if you wish to subscribe to my channel, just click on this link up here. And that should subscribe you to the, the uh, Richard Lloyd channel or Richard Lloyd USA channel. Um, okay, again, thank you very much for your time and watching.